And joining us now on the Bear Sports Network is Washington University head football coach Larry Kim. Um, coach, thanks for joining us. Yeah, glad you have me here, Chris. Well, first of all, I want to say congratulations on the UASA title and an automatic bid for the Bears to the NCAA championship. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of stuff that happened all at once for us, but uh, it's exciting. Our players are excited. Our, our people in our program are excited, but we're back into game week right now, so we're going. Coach, a, a big win at, Ch at Chicago on Saturday, 43-34. A little slow start to the game. It was tied at half, but a big second half for WashU. Yeah, it, it, it was a little bit of a slow start, uh, I think, if, if you were to sit there and watch the game. I think from a coaching standpoint, we were both trying to get through the strategical part of it. And, and uh, you know, the kids were all playing hard, but um, – but we had to figure some things out, and, and Chicago had to figure some things out. Um, so it was it was an interesting uh, first half. But you know we felt pretty good uh, as we came in at halftime and talked over the things that we need to get done. And I and our coordinators did an awesome job in putting us in position to win. Coach, there was over 50 former players at the game on Saturday at Chicago. How how special was it for them to share with the current players with the Founders Cup and and all the celebration? How special was that moment? Yeah, well, you know, first of all, to have that many former players come back, I think that's a great reflection of the university, their love for what, what happened to them over their course of four years and both their preparation, their social phases. Um, you know, they, they are very, very close to Washington University and obviously our, our football program. So uh, from a coach's standpoint, there's nothing better than to have your, your living alumni out there who uh, really is a, is a kind of a – a look-see into the future for, for them as players, but also a look into the past and realize that they, they were just like us and they want us to win and, and they're excited for, for the successes we're having. So that blend, uh, it, it, it just shows you how, how uh, important the Washington University family is to uh, both those that are here now and those that, that were here years ago. Coach, I'm sure uh, you know the wins are great and the conference championships are great, but I'm sure seeing your men go on and do great things is probably a biggest joy for you. Oh, absolutely. Again, it's, it's part of the family um, to have, you know, some investment in each other. Uh, and again, the players invested greatly when they were here in, in our university, and I think we invested in them. So you see, you see the rewards in something like that, and it's, it's just outstanding. Coach, the Bears are going to make their third NCAA appearance this weekend at Oshkosh. Talk about the buzz around the program to play that 11th game. Well, it's a, it's a goal for us. Uh, in the beginning of the year, uh, we have a, a pyramid of, of goals that we have, and at the top of that pyramid is uh, being able to play an 11th game, and, and we don't like to close that pyramid off. We like to keep it going and, and you know, w whatever goes beyond that. But... Uh, uh, it's exciting. It's exciting. Anytime you reach a goal and anything you're trying to do, and, and for our players, I think there was a point in the season where a lot of people just did not believe that, that we could be there. And uh, our players never stopped believing that we could be there. And um, it, it's, it's neat the way that things worked out that we're actually there right now. But I think when you have both the dream and the ability to wake up every day and work towards that dream, I mean, that, that's why we live, you know, and, and, uh, and our guys certainly are enjoying that moment right now. Coach's senior class started their career in the playoffs in 2013, and now four years later they're going again. That's a special send-off for the senior class. Well, it, 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 that's an interesting way to say it, Chris. Uh, obviously we didn't rehearse this, but uh, they're sending themselves off. And, and uh, I really think, it, it, again, it's a reflection of, of what they came into, what they wanted, and what Washington University football is all about. Let's talk about Wisconsin Oshkosh, your opponent, this Saturday at noon up in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Stingy defense, 12 points per game. They average about 265 yards on the ground. It's going to be a good test for the Bears. Yeah, it's, a, it's going to be a challenge. They're, they're very, very good, and, and uh, their only loss was to what is now uh, the team that's, that's on top of the whole thing, uh, Wisconsin Whitewater. but. Um, you know, they play 11, we play 11, and, and uh, our goal is to, to be able to find edges uh, in, in uh, the way that we have to face up against them. And, 
you know, we've had to do that all year long. So we're just looking forward to another challenge. Well, Coach, it's been a it's been a great run, and I love doing these interviews uh, each week, seeing what what's in your mind and what's going on with the team. And we'd love to keep doing these. And uh, just want to congratulate you guys on a great season so far. UA title, SA title, and NCA bidded. This has been a fantastic season. It's been so much fun. And it's great to keep it rolling. Well, what a great atmosphere to be in. Uh, you know, all of our. Uh, fall athletic teams have had that opportunity and, and not that you gauge your program on how many teams make the nationals I, I've always felt that that was maybe a, 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 a lot of things coming together that that work out that way and and uh, um, and certainly the goals that all the, the programs have here you know we, we have a championship mindset it starts right with our, our chancellor so to have that is I think is just pretty cool and and I'm, I'm enjoying our volleyball team who's actually going to be up at Oshkosh with us and our our cross country team who was up at Oshkosh last weekend and and our, our men's and, and women's soccer teams you know both had terrific years and great coaches and I know the men just got knocked out but uh, again championship mindset and, and the women you know want to keep going so just being in that atmosphere knowing that that's still not more important than the academic uh, phase but but it's important to these kids, and, and I'm happy for them. Well, Coach, good luck on Saturday. Safe travels up to Wisconsin, and we'll look forward to doing this again next week. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate all you do. And you can keep following WashU Bears football on our website at washubears.com.